the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us, to pardon what conscience dreads, and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. O oh, stupid Galatians! who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. I want to learn only this from you. Did you receive the Spirit from the works of the law or from faith in which you heard? Are you so stupid? After beginning with the Spirit, are you now ending with the flesh? Did you experience so many things in vain if indeed it was in vain. Then, does the one who supplies the Spirit to you and works mighty deeds among you do so from works of the law or from faith in what you heard? The Word of the Lord. Amen. Our responsorial psalm. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous, in his sight all the days of our lives. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our hearts, O Lord, and listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will not give up or get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. I tell you, ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be open. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, 
Or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg. If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> This morning we're going to take a close look at how Jesus said we should pray. Of course we all know that Jesus gave us the Our Father as a way to pray. But that's not what I want to look at this morning. In the Gospel reading we're given three word groups that are key to our method of prayer. These word groups start with ask, seek, and knock. Taking this one step further, Jesus told his disciples, Ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Sounds pretty simple. But can we all remember a time when our prayers may have seemed to be falling on deaf ears? There's one more step we need to look at. This is exemplified in the parable Jesus tells in this gospel. Many, if not all of us, understand that getting a family of one or more children to bed can be difficult, to say the least. In Jesus' time, this task was complicated by the fact that typically, families had several of their farm animals sleeping in the same house with them. The family usually slept together in the same bed, often on a platform above the floor, so the animals couldn't join them. The man in his parable had once again fought this fight and had everyone settled for the night, the lights out, and the door locked. I think you can see the reason for his frustration when his neighbor comes calling. Perhaps his answer should have been, we were all asleep. Go away. Surely this knocking disturbed more than just his friend. His persistence eventually paid off and he was able to properly care for his own late caller. This same theme is found later in Luke chapter 18 verses 3 through 5 in the parable about the unjust judge and the persistent woman seeking justice. The point of all this is persistence. We should approach God with boldness just as we would a friend persisting in our asking seeking and knocking for herein lies the fulfillment of our prayer we must continue to persist until we obtain what we are asking for seeking until we find the answer and knocking until the door is open we must pray shamelessly and with confidence not giving up until we are able to receive to find and to enter in his letter to the Hebrews, St. Paul tells them, and us, so let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. So let me ask you, does unanswered prayer discourage you from praying? Are we like children who ring the doorbell and then run away? Do you feel like that once you've given your petitions to God, it's time to turn back or to back off and not to bother God again? Or do you pray convinced that God will answer? Jesus does not say how long our prayers should continue. Our midnight requests do not strain our relationship with God, nor do they disturb Him. He tells us to ask, to seek, and like the man in the parable, continue to knock. We need to always keep in mind that in the garden, Jesus prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Still, not my will, but yours be done. All the time knowing that the will of the Father was the way of the cross. God's timetable is not always consistent with ours. When we ask, we must always be open to receive an answer that may be different than the one we seek and to walk through the door that may be opened to us. He knows when our faith has been sufficiently tested 
and our submission to his will is complete. So let us never under, overlook persistence in our prayer. Ask until you receive. Seek always to find an answer. Knock until the door is opened and you obtain the object of your prayer. May Almighty God bless you this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Our Lord, hear our prayer. For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. Our Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. Our Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for Ashton Gibbs, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Bless for you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work with human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord, forever. Bless for you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work with human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, Lord, forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good well-being. Amen. 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 And lift up your hearts. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. You were through me made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glories with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body. And blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and took willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Like not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace in the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but I want to say the word of my soul shall be
Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael of our families. Holy Lord, Michael, Lord, Lord, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God give you the human only pray, and to you our grace for the heavenly hosts. By the divine power, trust in the hell, save from all the other evil spirits who will wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit and the soul. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, the 